Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Without buying anything new, I want to show you today how you can update your style by just restyling the pieces you've purchased in past seasons and past years. I've got a ton of pieces on my rail here today, but I am going to focus in on eight specific pieces and show you how I will restyle them into outfits that I'm super excited to wear and that perfectly capture my style right now. If you're a regular viewer or if you're just stopping by today, um, you might have noticed that my channel name has changed from my previous name to Daily Helen. I talk here all the time about daily style, so I thought Daily Helen is just a more memorable um, and better reflection of what I do. The very first piece I wanna to style today or restyle today is this blue knitted skirt. So the last time I wore this skirt, I kind of wore it like this. There's a lot of knitwear in this outfit, and I think that's not super exciting or interesting because there's no other texture that's really going on. Immediately, one of the most obvious things you can do is to change up the color palette. It adds a little bit of warmth in the outfit, and that I just feel like is so much more appealing and cozy to me compared to the navy and cobalt. If it's more knitwear weather, then I will bring back the cardigan that I was wearing here, but I will style it in a different way. Instead of wearing it with the buttons at the front, I would actually turn it around so it's more of a sweater rather than a cardigan. The reason why I want to do this is because a cardigan can have a more traditional, more cozy look. So by turning it around, it already starts to feel just a little bit more sleek. I can also undo a few of the buttons at the back slightly opening up the neckline and I feel like that looks a little bit more flattering on the figure. And then when I turn around, you can see some of that singlet popping through which is just a nice layered look which I think is quite nice. Something that immediately came to mind was wearing something silky and fluid on the top as opposed to knitwear. This is one of the easiest ways to improve an outfit is by changing up the textures so we've got different fabrics and different textures to look at. This is a jacket that I thought I would style with the skirt because I felt like it was the exact opposite of the cardigan that I originally wore. This is very textured, it's got that kind of boucle texture to it. It's got the gold buttons that add a really nice stylish accent. And then it's also got a lot of shape with the shoulders and then the slightly thicker material. So this with the skirt is the opposite of the cardigan with the skirt. And I feel like this looks very smart and polished especially if you like a more tailored, structured look. In short, the way that I updated this original outfit is that I played around with colors, adding that warmer tone to the outfit. I played around with textures, adding those silkier, softer, drapier materials, but then also that really thick boucle jacket to the looks. The next item I want to restyle is this cardigan and the outfit I'm referring to is this one. So with this outfit, I feel like I love all the pieces and they're all in my wardrobe, every single one of them, I feel like I've worn a lot. But I do feel like right now, the way that I want to wear it is just slightly less oversized and maybe just a little bit more contrast in the shapes and proportions. Another thing I noticed is that I'm not loving the wide leg pants with the very flat shoe. One of the most perfect ways, in my opinion, to style a chunky knit is with a bias cut skirt. You know, they're so slinky, they fit over the body in such a flattering way, um, especially when they're long line. I just think they work so, so, so well together. I paired it here with a white one, and it's also really perfect because a white skirt is very slightly sheer. So having the slightly longer knit makes me feel more comfortable when I'm wearing this skirt and it's just a match made in heaven. One of the best ways to update an outfit is actually by changing the proportion. I think that itself is the most transformative. I mean, color and print and pattern and accessories make a huge difference, but the proportion is literally the base of the outfit and that has to feel right before we layer on more things. Going off the original outfit formula, if we do a trouser, I would choose something that is slightly less wide. So I would do the knit and then pair it with my Arquette taupe trousers. It's more tailored and this just looks very polished and very elegant to me. I would wear this outfit without the belt, but you can definitely also add the brown belt back into the look. If I was in the winter right now, which I know a lot of you guys are, I would do thermals on the inside, throw on my navy curated coat, and that would be my outfit there. I just want to quickly show you what the outfit would look like with the khaki slides. I really love those shoes and because the pants were really wide before, I don't feel like it really worked. Whereas because these pants are now more tailored, it goes really well with that khaki slide. 
It adds a little bit of interest to a fairly simple outfit. And because we can see our ankles with this pant, I feel like it just looks very balanced with that flat, um, chunky sandal shoe. I feel like I should do a recap at the end of each of these. So here is the original outfit. And then here are the outfits I will wear today. In general, I would describe all of these looks as more balanced, um, a little bit more put together compared to the more casual, relaxed feel of the original. The next item I want to restyle is this blouse um, that is a little bit more statement. I do actually like this look, but I feel like because we've got the blouse and then we've also got the clogs, these are two pieces that are kind of a little bit outside of my comfort zone. So putting them together, I feel like makes this outfit a little confusing for me because as much as I like it, it's not really my style. And I'll like to take the blouse and style it in a way that's a bit more comfortable to me. So I'll wear it more often. Let's start pretty obvious. Um, in the photo, I love that I'm pairing it with the slip skirt. I feel like these look really nice because the slip skirt is so timeless and classic. The blouse is more statement. So they do go really beautifully together. The wide skirt especially adds a femininity to the look that makes it feel more like my personal style. In a very similar outfit, I just wanted to change up the color palette slightly. So pairing it with a darker bias skirt and then also a coat, um, it's the same idea as the last one, just a different variation of it. If I had more bias skirts, I would basically pair it with all of them for this blouse. I noticed that in all of these outfits, I'm taking a pretty casual blouse and then dressing it up. So I thought, why not try wearing it more casually? I know I don't want to wear it with jeans, so maybe I'll try a more elevated sweatpants. And they're from Tibby. They have this really unique shape to them. And I always just feel like they give a very elevated feel because of that shape. The khaki green also kind of ties into some of the green colors on the blouse. And I actually really like this. It's got more of that casual vibe but we've definitely kind of styled the outfit to make it feel a bit cuter. And I'm also getting more wear from the sweatpants. I don't wear them a ton either, so it's nice to bring that in, style these two pieces together, and get more wear from both pieces. At the start, I said I wanted to make this blouse kind of fit into my personal style a bit more. And I feel like in outfits one and two with this bias skirt, we absolutely get that. And then outfit three, I'm so happy I experimented a bit more, coming up with a slightly more cozy and casual look that I'm already kind of excited to wear. This coat over here is one of my oldest and kind of lowest cost per wear wardrobe pieces ever. It's from Mango and I've had it for about four or five years. Uh, this is the original outfit I'm working with. Would I wear this outfit today? Uh, probably, I feel like it's so simple, you just cannot go wrong. But at the same time, I'm not super excited to wear it. It's a bit meh. So I want to fix that today and come up with outfits that I'm genuinely excited to wear, not just okay wearing. One of my fixes is to maybe add a bit more contrast to the outfit. So instead of black inside, I wanted to go with white or in this case, cream, just to brighten up the look a bit more and contrast the coat. In winter, I do feel like it's a little bit of a waste to not play around with those chunky cable textures. So I wanted to bring that in, um, in the vest that I'm wearing. In the past year, um, I think because of more traveling, more walking, I have been wearing sneakers more often than heel boots. So wearing that feels completely my style right now. This look here is kind of similar, but instead of going the texture route to add more interest, I've gone for a pattern this time round with that houndstooth brown pattern print. Something that's changed in my personal style this year is that if I'm wearing an all neutral outfit, something actually doesn't feel right. Even though the khaki or army green isn't really a bold, strong color, there is something about having any color that just makes an outfit look complete to me now. I'm so used to wearing more color that when it isn't there, it just doesn't feel finished. I adore this look here just because the color makes it feel complete and makes it feel right. With this brown coat, the original outfit was fine it was just a little bit too simple. So in the outfits I created today, I tried to either include more contrast, more texture, more layering, or just more color. Speaking of color, this next item I'm styling is probably the most colorful item of today. In this original inspo, the outfit is very pretty and still something that I would wear on a casual, um, kind of spring summer day. Something that I find interesting about outfits is when they're more mixed and matched. So for example, we've got something girly with something modern or playful 
or more edgy or boyish. This original outfit is straight up feminine, so I want to do more of a mix in the new outfits I'm creating. I said in my best and worst um, purchases video that I want to wear these trousers more often. I'll link that video up above if you haven't seen it, but this is the perfect time to do so. Because this is bright blue, and this pant has a little bit of light blue in the fabric. I feel like they'll go really nicely together. These pants are still fairly girly, I think mostly due to the color palette. But compared to the skirt, I feel like we've taken, you know, a couple of steps away from that girliness into something that feels maybe slightly more modern and relaxed. If I wanted to go in a slightly different direction and make it more sleek and sophisticated, then I would pair it with like a longer silk skirt. I paired it with a darker one, um, just because I don't want the blue to show through in the white. If I completed this outfit with a black bag, the color palette will feel a bit boring to me. Um, it's the same as pairing the blue with the navy in the original, it just feels a bit flat. Whereas if I bring a bit of warmth through the brown bag, I feel like it's a lot more interesting um, color-wise. Looking at the previous outfit, the blue knit is actually not very textured because it's a very fine knit. And then the silk skirt is again more of a smooth finish. So adding this rougher boucle texture, this chunkier texture, especially because it's got the buttons as well, I think just elevates it and makes it more interesting. The outfit is also quite fitted, so adding this kind of structure to it, I think is an interesting balance of proportion. In the original outfit, I feel like it's very pretty, very girly, and I would still wear it. But in the outfits I created today, I tried to include other elements of my style. So either making it more playful with the plaid, more sophisticated with the silk, or making it more textured, and more interesting in the silhouette. If you guys are watching and enjoying today's video, I would love for you to go give it a very quick like down below. Moving on to the next piece, we've got this grey sweatshirt from Tibby and it's got this scallop sleeve. This outfit here is something that I wore, I think, last year and I feel like it's a little bit chunky. This sweatshirt has a huge sleeves, the skirt has a lot of shape and then it flares out a little bit at the bottom and then the boots are square-toed and just kind of very large. So with these three pieces combined, there's just too much there's too much structure. I'm talking about these bias skirts a lot today, but I have been wearing these, I would say, for about two to three years, fairly consistently, so it's nothing new in my wardrobe. Um, I just love the versatility. I've gone for brown suede loafers. I feel like these brown shoes work really well with the cream color, both kind of warm neutrals, and it also just softens and warms up the gray sweatshirt. If I wanted to keep the color palette of the original look, I would do the skirt in black, this silk scarf here is an amazing silk scarf from Audrey's brand, Fenwick. And I'm so grateful because she sent one to me as a gift, um, which was so, so, so lovely. And I have been using it whenever I reach for a silk scarf. For this outfit, it's perfect because it adds a little bit of softness to the neckline area. And I feel like it counteracts the harshness and the structure of the sleeve. So that's the reason I decided to add this to the outfit. I wanted that softness around the neckline. I would of course um, style it with my white pants as well. The reason why I keep showing these options is because I'm realizing I have a lot of structured pieces, especially for tops. So to balance that out, these slip skirts or these bias skirts, um, these fluid trousers are the ideal thing. And it's why I repeat them all the time. So to quickly sum up here, instead of going for structured pieces from head to toe, I've gone for some of these softer, drapier materials, whether that's in the skirts or a pants. This is a blouse from the brand A Piece Apart that I purchased secondhand on the Real Real many, many years ago. The photo I'm referring to over here is probably also from about three years ago. There's nothing really wrong with this outfit. It's pretty simple. One thing I noticed is that the pants, they could be a bit longer. I think I don't wear those crop shapes as much anymore. It doesn't have to be like on the floor or even full length. It can still be ankle length, just a centimeter or two longer than what's in the photo. Let's start off just by turning the colossal I'm wearing into a full length pant. I feel like pant length is a big thing that's changed over the years and this much better reflects my style right now. Again, this is on the longer side. It doesn't have to be this long, but I feel like I'm over my calotte, really short pant stage. Instead of wearing it with dark pants, I wanted to style it once again with the lighter trousers. So this is just a softer color palette. The top is in this light blue gray shade. It matches perfectly with the blue on this pant. So the color palettes just work 
amazing together. I also really love this lighter blue shade with my taupe trousers. These two colors feel like they're in the same color family, so wearing them together feels really harmonious. I wanted to add a belt because I feel like something was missing there without one, so I decided to use my Isabel Morant lace belt. Um, and it just adds a nice little accent there as well. In the last outfit, I wanted to keep the original colour palette of the look, but this time all I'm doing is just changing out the collards for a skirt instead. I wear midi skirts a lot more now compared to them probably, and I feel like my go-to would definitely be the skirt over the collards. Summing up this outfit, I feel like how I wore it before was okay, but having these longer pants and these longer skirts, I do feel like is a lot more flattering than the collards that I used to wear. It's not that collards aren't good on anyone, but I feel like on me, to me, they don't look as good. The very last piece I'm restyling today is another old favourite and it's this Cezanne cardigan with the buttons. I mean, I have this in white, I have this in green, now I have a turquoise one. So these I style and I wear all the time. I've had this for many, many years, but this is how I wore it, I feel like, maybe two years ago, two, maybe three years ago. This outfit doesn't have the print and it doesn't have the logo, so it's a bit more subtle. But it does feel very, very luxurious because of the fabric. I wore it with loafers, but I would absolutely wear these with a lace-up boot. That is a styling thing that I still really like today. And that's something that hasn't changed about my style. Midi and maxi skirts with lace-up boots, I feel like I'm always going to love. Because they contrast perfectly. I know wearing a knit with jeans is not exactly exciting. But I did say before that I need a little bit of colour in all my outfits now. So one of the easiest things I've been doing is just putting a colourful knit on the inside and then just having a little bit of a poke through around the neckline. Super, super easy to do, but it adds colour. Just by having that colour, this outfit feels very much my style right now in this moment. I love a pop of red, so being able to add that into this outfit makes it closer to my personal style. Something I wanted to try for the sake of trying is wearing this white cardigan with these nylon trousers. A lot of people will really hate these trousers. I do actually like them with the right shoe and with certain outfits. I wanted to give these a try for a slightly more like oversized, street style inspired vibe. It's really not my vibe, but I do like to get inspiration from different places. Not quite working. I think I need a knit to be a little bit thinner, a little bit more form-fitting for me to wear these pants. It's really the shape I think that didn't work for this outfit, but the textures I think will be so cool together. Those are some of the ways that I would restyle my wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing how you can restyle your wardrobe by changing up the styling. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more content like this, I do make fashion videos every single week on my channel. So I'd love for you to subscribe and follow along. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.